everybody. Prepper Nurse One here. We're going to start this video outside, but then we're going to go back in the house. But I wanted to show you what we got going here today at the homestead. Uh, very high winds. They have high wind warnings. It is snowing. It is April or April? Yeah, April 4th, Wednesday, 2018. Uh, let me show you. It's nasty. You can see the trees are just freaking blowing all over the place. Uh, real, real high winds today. It's absolutely been crazy. So, I'm going to show you the trees here. You can see them just freaking swaying around. Just a lovely, lovely day in April. Somebody lied and told me it was spring, but it isn't acting like spring. <laughs> Oh boy. I just let you look at this for a second, but you can see look at the trees just rocking around. Look at them up here. Alright, we're gonna go back inside. So, as you can see, I have the wood stove rocking. Uh, I just had my neighbor message me, the power's out. So, uh, again, another reason why I am off grid. People will say to me, uh, Ed, why don't you hook up to the grid and you can sell the power back to the power company and, and stuff like that. They don't want you to have batteries. They want you to be grid tied without batteries. So if that's the case, when the power goes out for everybody else, it go out for you as well. And absolutely no way am I letting that happen. Um, so the neighborhood, the power's out. And I don't know if you could hear it when we were outside, but my neighbors over here, they had their generator running. It really, was really, really windy, so you probably didn't. But my neighbors have their generator running. So... It's, uh, you know, that's uh, one of the main reasons, again, why I am completely off-grid, uh, independent. We've actually, even, even today, being as crappy as it is outside, I, last time I checked, I had still pulled in 2.7 kilowatt hours for the day. Uh, I've had the power on for quite a while. It's about 5, I think it's 5, let me just double check that, guys, hold on. Yep, it's 5.06 right now. So, um, yeah, the, the weather, you know, the weather has been insane. And uh, it's just, uh, even the extended forecast over like the next 10 days, the weather is not getting better and nicer. It's just miserable. So I don't know what's going on with this freaking weather. But uh, anyway, uh, so a lot going on around in the world, crazy stuff. The stock market is up, it's down. It, it's uh, the last couple days it's gone back up. Uh, I know that I think on Monday it dropped like 700 points. It picked back up yesterday and today it was up like I think another 230 today. Uh, so it's like doing this roller coaster thing. They don't know what you know what's going to happen. There's a lot of fear going on out there in the world uh, with North Korea and uh, what's happening with them. I mean, there's a lot of chatter of they're getting ready to do this, they're getting ready to do that, and. Uh, you know, they just had, had uh, I don't know if, if you guys had known or not, but they had just uh, had a meeting where Kim Jong-un there, the uh, head of North Korea, had gone to China for a meeting. So who knows what that was all about. So either they were telling him what he could or could not do or who knows what. But, uh, yeah, crazy, crazy stuff going on in the world. And, um, and the thing is, you know, it's, uh, you know, Peace of mind and being able to not necessarily worry about what's going on. And I don't want to say that you don't worry. You still keep an eye on things that are going on. But living your life as freely as you possibly can, um, being as ready as you possibly can, 
it gives you peace of mind. It puts you in a position where you don't sweat the small stuff. That's what I like the term I like to use. Not don't sweat the small stuff. Um, again, the term I used before, prepping for life. Okay, that's what it's all about, guys. That's what all it is for me is about. It's not about fear of something happening. Okay, I didn't embark on this journey because I was in fear of something happening. I was concerned that something may happen, but I also the main thing for me through this whole journey was to have as much freedom as I possibly could. And that was the whole thing with getting off grid and being as independent as I possibly can be. Again, if you will never be 100% independent. It's very, very difficult to do that. If you can do that, if you can be 100% independent, God bless you and fantastic. I'm happy for you. But the reality is there's going to still be some ties to modern civilization no matter what, okay? Be it the internet, um, whatever, okay? But trying to be as independent as you possibly can, reducing your bills as much as you possibly can, living as free as you possibly can, reducing the stresses in your life as much as you possibly can. It makes you happier. It makes you more productive. It makes life better in general, okay? And that's what it realistically, for me, in a nutshell, is what it's all about. Um, you know, spending that time with my children, that's what it's all about for me. Uh, just doing those type of things. And man, this wood stove is cooking my behind. Um, but, you know, having as much independence and freedom, that's mom, I'll call her back, um, as I possibly can, that's what it's all about for me, realistically. So, um, you know, with, with today, again, the power being knocked out up here, and because I'm sure the winds have taken out some power lines or whatnot, so who knows when their power is going to be back on. But, you know, um, mine is going to be on no matter what, and that is an awesome, awesome feeling. Uh, you know, like I said, if they hadn't, my neighbor hadn't texted me and said the power was out, I would never know. So, you know, that's, uh, like I said, it's just it's an awesome, awesome feeling having that freedom that I know that no matter what as far as in the area, if something happens, we're still going to have power. So that's a real, real good feeling. But anyway, um, you know, like I said, it's, you know, people have a, a misconception of everything. When I, you know, when I tell people that I live off grid, um, I'll, I'll actually say to them, I said, okay, now before we go any further, I'll say, I want to ask you, what is your definition of living off grid? And nine times out of ten, people will say, no power and no running water. And, you know, it's like, and once in a while, somebody will surprise me and say, well, I think it's just not being hooked up to the system and, you know, so, and having your own things. And so, you know, and obviously they're right. So, you know, I love every month not getting a gas and electric bill. I love every month or every three months not getting a water bill. Okay. Having my own well, you know, and, and being able to do what we do here is just, it is such a good, good feeling. You have no idea, you know, and uh, so anyway, so that's, that's what's going on here today at the homestead. And I just wanted to share some thoughts with you as far as the whole off grid living thing and why. And uh, I'm telling you what guys, you want a lot less stress in your life, do what I did. Because I'll tell you what, I was at one point, I was stressed to the freaking max, working all the time, can't get ahead of the bills and, you know, the whole nine yards. And to put yourself in a situation where you can be as free as you possibly can be, that is such a phenomenal, phenomenal, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, a uh, phenomenal thing, and uh, it, it's awesome. It really, truly is. So, anyway, um, hopefully the neighbor's power won't be out that long. We'll see what happens. Uh, depends on how bad the power lines are down and what got knocked out. So, but uh, anyway, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you're having a good week. Um, we're already halfway through the freaking week. I can't believe it's already Wednesday. Um, I was going to today go and get Heather and pick up Kendall, but then Kendall couldn't come until Friday. So Heather asked if she could stay with her mom a couple extra days until, you know, Kendall was available, and I said, absolutely. So um, it has been a very quiet week here at the homestead without my kids. Um, I am used to having them most of the time. 
uh, you know, their mom normally takes them every other weekend is how it ends up working out. She can have as much as she wants, but, uh, you know, she usually it's every other weekend. And uh, so with having them both gone since Friday, uh, it has been <laughs> very, very quiet. And I'm not used to it, I'll tell you what. I mean, I got the cats. Cats are up my butt, um, which is fine. I don't mind that either. But uh, So, yeah, it's uh, it's been very quiet here at the homestead this week. Anyway, guys, listen, I will talk to you all tomorrow. I hope everybody, like I said, I hope you're all having a good week. Remember, guys, hug and kiss the ones you love and tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. And remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. And the only one that's going to stop you from getting there is you. Nobody else can do it, okay? So I will talk to you all tomorrow. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now. I am freaking dying. This wood stove is killing me. Killing me.